I gotta stand. Why don't you stand in the middle? Because okay. you're gonna be doing yeah. most of the talking. Okay. Come on, watch it. Put it in the fridge. Tell me when you started. Uh, I'm going. You're going? Yes. Okay. We came here today to protest Facebook's insistence that you use your real name. And I uh, went in and I thought it would be a protest outside, but you had to go in. I saw no one. I went into the death Facebook security, which is in the lobby, and explained to her that we were here to protest Facebook's real name policies. She called upstairs. I guess I was respectable enough. And so these are some other people that showed up. Now, why don't you explain why you're troubled with Facebook's real name policy and how you feel I'm about it? I'm a supporter, it? absolutely. So go ahead. Okay, hi. I'm a known as Fussy Lomain on Facebook. Facebook actually dumped me for using to rectify this. Now, I understand Sister Roma is tired of this and figures now this is actually a Facebook problem. They have to deal with it. So there were hundreds, at least hundreds of people who were reaching out to Sister Roma. Sister Roma got tired of dealing with everyone's individual situation. But the point is, Facebook makes a policy of saying they're protecting people by this real name policy. People who are not using their legal As an activist, Sylvia Rivera, a good friend of mine who's very famous now, his real name was Ray Mendoza, uh, could not, if she wanted to change her name legally, would have to go to a judge. And when I changed my name legally, I was an illegal activist, supposedly Randolph Wicker from 1958 to 1967. My father said, don't use his good name, Charles Gervin Hayden Jr. You know, that's why I took the pseudonym. When I made money, I went to the court and got my name legally changed to Randolph Hayden Wicker in 1967. But you, the judge says, in six months, I give you permission to assume the name of Randolph Hayden Wicker. Meanwhile, if you have a career going as a musician or as a photographer or as an entertainer, you lose six months of your life. What is your experience? Uh, well, I am Sister Lottie Da, but I'm also known as Huckle Fairy, who I am an artist and an activist here in New York City, and I lost my Facebook account for a little over a month. I as well received help from Little Hot Miss and Sister Roma specifically. And I also respect their decision to put the responsibility back on Facebook to address this egregious policy, as my friends have outlined. Uh, this is actually a dangerous policy for, for many individuals, people who are trying to leave behind an abusive relationship, people who are avoiding a stalker and might have a very uncommon last name, entertainers, but we also have people for very real cultural reasons changing their names. First Nations people have also been targeted by this. And ultimately this is a policy that Facebook has allowed to be abused in a manner that would be akin with perhaps cyber terrorism at an extreme, but certainly cyber bullying. Now something something they did send down a Facebook representative and I showed him, I told him how, how Marsha B. Johnson and he said that we had to call Facebook and make an appointment. That we could make an appointment. I told him we're not here to occupy your offices, we're not here, we're here to open a discussion. You know, and there's some serious issues that people have with your present policy. And I suggested that maybe you would have a thing where your name, you know, Fussy Omain and then legal name on file where if there's some question about it, you know, but the public would not have access to the legal name but would know your performer name. So that I think would be the next way to go about this is for us to start requesting from Facebook to have a meeting with people in different cities even 
uh, that will explain their situation to them. And I think a real part of focus here is the abuse of the fake name button on Facebook. What we're talking about is individuals who are fundamentalists or orthodox in a perspective that find entertainers, burlesque artists, uh, First Nations people offensive and have started reporting them. And because the press has largely made it an issue about drag queens, I think people like trans youth who might be struggling with identity, people who are in fact um, leaving an abusive relationship or possibly an abusive uh, uh, organization. I hear a little mouse tapping on the window. I think our time is out. But I just want to point out that this this, oh, there was a sign there. This affects a lot of people outside of the drag community, but I'm proud that the drag community is stepping forward and giving voice to this important issue. And essentially, as a programmer, it's an easy fix. Take away the button, add other choices. There are many ways to report abuse and egregious behavior on Facebook. This is unnecessary. What, what, how many minutes? Six. Oh, only six? Oh, all that? that? That's all? You uh, wow. Question to clarify. Wow, okay. It's red. Where the battery's supposed to be? Are you, wait, is the that number good? going up? Is it filming? Yeah, it's filming, but okay. where the battery is, it's red. Does that mean. No, that just is record. Oh, that okay. means record, right. Okay, well, then I think from now on we'll all get together and let's start a campaign. Uh, somehow maybe create an ass Facebook for a meeting on names. Executive aspect. Right, I, I, because I they're think, mostly centered in California. But yeah, I think exactly. calling attention to the fact that this is a wide, this this issue has a scope larger than most people realize. That you know people use it as a means of protecting children, but in fact, ultimately, we're allowing targeting to happen around trans children and queer children because of this policy. So it, be, it seems it like a, it's hypocritical. You could be a Muslim, a Muslim who came to this country, and if you put your name Mohammed, whatever, on Facebook, and they knew that you were from Syria, they may go and kill your father or your mother or your sister because, they, oh, your brother ran off with the infidels in the U.S. And I'm sure there are all kinds of reasons besides the ones that we know about that people would not want their real names to be. Where it becomes an issue of protection where it becomes an issue of safety, not just identity. Okay, so let's go on and let's demand our rights from Facebook. Demand Power to the, the people. Power to the people. Say my name, say my name. We the Zuckerberg.